What's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So I'm gonna be drawing Vegito versus Gogeta. So Ultra, right? I'm gonna color them in the Ultra, that sort of fan hairstyle where they're both sort of Ultra Instinct, Ultra Ego combined, right? You could color them just like Super Saiyan Blue or something if you wanted. So, but I'm gonna go with the Ultra and I'll probably title this Ultra Vegito versus Ultra Gogeta. So let's go. Landscape page, always, usually. <laughs> and a pencil and an eraser for these. Sketch them out lightly so you can erase your mistakes. Take your time, hit pause if I go too fast, right? So, kind of small heads might have to zoom in for you so you can see everything, right? But we will start. Characters and profile, I like to start with the nose, right? So you do this L shape. Right, like that. So at the top of that L shape, you make it a Z for the brow, okay? You got this Z. And on Dragon Ball noses, they draw in the shadows on the bottom of the nose. Sometimes there's a nostril just there. If you know where the brow is, you know where his eyebrow is, especially in Dragon Ball characters, right? So we're gonna just do his eyebrow coming out from here. That's where the brow is, so we'll go. like so and then we have the square end and then we bring it down and up right just go big thick eyebrows and sometimes they have some lines like on the end just here this then has the brow that goes follows that sort of eyebrow shape, right up to his hairline, just say here. And then we have a frowning line, just there. So the eye underneath, classic Dragon Ball eye, we've got a small line, a big line, and then we join those two together. Like that. So he's looking over to the left hand side, so it's like a skinny eye looking that way, coming down from the eyebrow, kind of a half circle or an ellipse. Right, so we go down from the nose and start the mouth. So his top lip sticks out from the bottom of his nose, out, then it goes in. And his teeth are here, right? But we'll draw the mouth shape in. So it goes around, kind of like a big letter, sort of C curving around this way. It's got some angles in it. Down, in, up, like that. And then his bottom lip will stick out here. In this space, then we got some teeth. Goes around here. Just for the top teeth. And then bottom teeth there. And if you want, you can add some like lines just like that, just to show some teeth. And we can have some sort of mouth lines and things, stretch lines on his cheeks, and the check marks that they have underneath their eyes there. Chin comes down a bit further from the bottom lip. There might be a bottom lip sort of line there. And then his chin goes in and up this way. Connects to the jaw just here. And you change direction for the angle so you go up that way. So this jaw connects to his ear, so his earlobe is here. And they've quite big ears in Dragon Ball, so it like goes up and around. Like so. And then 
ear lines inside, right? So you've got like, so I always say like the easiest way to start it is like this sort of letter J kind of thing. Right. You can make it more complicated. They normally do in Dragon Ball. So they add some extra stuff like that. So his sideburn comes out from the top of his ear. Some lines normally there. It spikes down. And then his hairline comes up. Around and goes back down to his forehead. Just there. Right, so now hair. So can some of it goes behind his those big shoulder pads that he has, right? But we'll, we'll start at the front. So say, let's say there's one that like sticks right out here. Right, and then there's one in behind. And then he's a piece of fringe that sticks out here. And then spike here. Another one coming out here. Comes back in behind his ear. And this is where we sort of get to his neck and it goes, it kind of, they kind of disappear behind his shoulder, right? So say like his neck is here, kind of bumps down. And he's got that big shoulder pad here. So I'll actually draw this in. So it's got that, you know, those weird bumping kind of shoulder pad things. Mm. Right, and there's another one here as well, but we'll just get the hair sort of in first. That way. Well, I will draw in the other one because I have to. I have to actually have to now. So a block and more hair. You could just draw the hair and erase things afterwards, but I think this is more efficient. So I think this eventually goes around underneath kind of his bicep. Right. And then the rest of the hair comes out from behind this, right? So we've got all these big spikes and it's like it's like a candle flame going in this direction. And like the biggest one is like here. And then another one just sticking up off the page that way. And then texture lines, right? So you just sort of follow the shape for each one, right? You just add these things and then you just kind of do it all over. Right, you can do as much of that as you want, but I think I'll leave it there. Right, so rest of his body, so arm kind of flying off this way. There are those two shoulder pads. His neck on this side, right, comes out, sticks out for an Adam's apple. It's kind of really stretched, right? So it goes, he's like lunging forward. So like there, and then these neck muscles 
gonna like be pulled that way. Another one sort of here. The shoulder pads on the other side come in from behind the neck, so we got just these sort of bumps. So this kind of spiking thing. Here. And it's got these texture lines on it. Like that. And then the other one. Like so. So chest muscle then, so here, right? So it's kind of like the center line for his chest is like here. So it like curves around this way. And then the top of that chest muscle will go up underneath these shoulder pads over here. And the other side goes that way. And the neck muscle there. So this chest muscle, so back into here, right? So it goes around, up. And this one goes around, up, and you could have some, you know, some muscle fiber lines going that way. And then his waistcoat comes down here, and it kind of just flies off this way, off the back of my page, kind of. And so we're going to get the rest of his torso in, so... line like that way and then his waist kind of comes down there and then he's got a waistband on so this comes across his like belly button area and then it's tied here with like just tied in along itself kind of kind of flies off that way and then his waist there like that so inside here, then we got like ab muscles. So the center line is here. So you just go like for the center, a couple of those, and then the tops and the sides. And kind of like that. Could be some extra sort of like so right, so then this waistband bumps like this and then comes around there and then it's got like some extra lines like so and then trousers or just his legs sort of comes out this way This will have like some lines coming out from say the center because his legs sort of part here, right? So you've got these fold lines, just all these fabric lines just to show the different direction of his legs. So one going that way, and one going this way. So arms now, so well, waist, his waistcoat, sorry, on this side as well. So, and then we'll do arms. So there's an arm that goes off this way, right? So you can basically only kind of see chest muscle. So big sort of, not chest muscle, shoulder muscle. So should I say there? And then, you know, sort of fiber lines and his bicep and tricep. So he's got like, you can see kind of the underneath of the arm here and the armpit line going across like that. And this is just like waistcoat, just in there. So it's like his big bicep. Arm flinging back that way. And that's like his armpit. So the other arm, tucked in kind of behind his body, but there's a fist here. So we go, shoulder muscle you can see like a little bit of his bicep here 
and then his sort of wristband thing. Right, so then you should be able to see some of his forearm there. So in that fist, right? So we can see just the thumb sort of sticking out on top first. And then he has like a thumbnail. And then we have four knuckles. One, two, three, four. And then these come with fingers on top. Point here. One, two, three, four. And this is just curve around to the palm of his hand here. And so, yeah, then each of these corresponds to a finger. So you go up, there, up, down. Yeah. Down. And you can add some knuckle lines. Of various types, like that. And he doesn't have the earrings, no, that's Vegito. So, okay, Vegito. So, right across, we'll do the same thing again. His head is in a slightly different position, but it's more or less the same. Let's say he's kind of like leaning back like a little bit more, maybe. You can see like a little bit of the underneath of the nose, but we'll start with this just right across. See here, a little bit of a gap. And then we'll just do this L shape for the nose. So it comes across, down. And again, you make it like a Z shape for the brow that goes around and up to there. Very similar, right shape. And then we put the shadow in for the nose. And once you know where the brow is, you know where the eyebrow is. So we'll just add our eyebrow coming from the brow area, going back this way. This goes underneath hair, but we'll draw it in and we can erase it if we got to cover it. Get skinnier as we go down to the front and then a frown line here as well. Draw Dragon Ball eyes. So you do, again, same sort of thing. Small line. Big line, and then this goes to there. Eye curves around in there. So, top lip, again, sort of sticks out here, goes in to there. And then we can see teeth and like the side of his mouth and stuff. So we'll draw this in. So his mouth is open screaming. So it goes this way, back, down, much wider now than this. So that'll bring the chin down further as well. Bottom lip kind of sticks out here and down. So we can see teeth on the bottom. And teeth on the top. Like so. And then his tongue. There. And then side of his mouth kind of just comes down this way. 
on the other side. He does have those check marks again on his cheeks. And some like stretch lines around his mouth and like the bottom lip sort of line there. Then his chin down this way. Kind of curves around and joins his neck sort of here. Much, much like this one, really. But the jaw will keep going as well. Up this way and up towards his ear. So on his ear, we, we have an earring, right? So the earlobe is here and the earring kind of hangs down from this. So we'll draw it in first just so we don't have to raise anything this and there's like a couple of circles and then a big one just here and there might be like silver thing on top so the rest of his ear curves around quite big Lines on the inside, again, this sort of letter J sort of style. And some extra lines inside if you want. So his hair, right? So two fringe spikes for Vegito, right? So it goes down this way, right? That, and then this one comes down the other side here. Like so, right, and then the rest of the hair spikes again kind of come out from behind his shoulder over this side, but we'll just do the ones over here first. So we have got a bit of a small one just here, and then a larger one. big one here another one in behind here and then another large one here this will go where to his neck somewhere here so there's a big one in behind here Sticks out this way. One here. This one goes behind his shoulder, right? So you can't see the rest inside here. So we have to draw his neck sort of first. So his neck goes out that way. And then his trapezius is there. And then we have some clothing sort of bumping around his shoulder, like his sleeve and stuff, just here. And then we have the hair going in behind, and then you have all the texture lines, right? So you just follow each shape fairly simply, just like this, right? So you just add as many of these as you want. Mm 
just sort of keep adding them as you feel, right? You can stop whenever you want. So then we'll go down to do his torso. He's got the blue and orange sort of costume on, right? So his neck, Adam's apple here, similar outstretched neck goes down. And you got some neck muscle lines here. And one going up behind this way as well. Another one here. Center line for his chest is here, but it goes underneath his clothing, right? So we can draw in the top of the chest like that. And then you have this U shape that kind of comes around all the way and goes up back to here. And this is like orange. And then we got the blue part comes to a V and then it goes around like that. Another line for Adam's apple. I think I'll add one of those there as well. And then the rest. Toes lines. Like that. And so all this is mostly clothing now. So fold lines apart from his arms, right? So his blue thing bumps around here and then it goes around his shoulder down and it kind of like bumps in towards his waist. And we got all these fold lines, right? Eventually going up around his shoulder. I actually think there's more anatomy just there. So then up here, so the rest of his waistband goes this way and then it like bumps down around here. Right, much like Gogeta over this side. And then his leg shoots off down here so and the center line for that is about there okay so in more clothing and things right so like lots of these sort of fold lines and then his arm and shoulder stick out up here right so blue section curves around And then the orange section goes around his shoulder and comes down here. And then his armpit, so kind of comes out here, this to his tricep, and then his bicep sort of sticking out from his armpit here, top of the bicep be like going this way and then his shoulder on top sort of here then we have another hand and a fist here so he's not producing a fist he's doing that sort of two finger sort of karate sort of style hand right so we'll do the hand and then sort of join it up so I'm gonna put it well what we do well it, his bicep, I guess, is here, right? So it just comes out from the orange part of his kimono. You got a shoulder muscle there. And then his armpit, tricep, down like that, okay? Then the hand is like in here, okay? So say for a hand, we've got this W sort of shape at the bottom. Like everyone has it, right? So that'll dictate the direction. So like bump, 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 right? And the thumb will come out from it. And 
brightness will go up around and then the back of the hand kind of bumps up here to the back of the finger and then you have knuckles right so two fingers together here so this kind of curves around and then the next one Right, so curved over and the other two stick up a bit further so it goes up across down like so and then this one goes up across down around and he's got these white gloves on so the fingers the base of them is like here And then this curves around for the bottom of his glove. And there's a few sort of fold lines and things. On that. And then this curves around for his forearm on the bottom. Kind of foreshortened. Maybe you can see like a bit of his elbow or something here. This is mostly just his forearm going that way. And, but that's it. And if you want, you know, you can add like sparks and lightning all coming, coming out from the fight, you know. Going on off their bodies, maybe. This kind of stuff, directional stuff, dirt and dots in between. But that's pretty much it. And then you can color it the hair. I'm going to color it the Ultra Gogeta and Vegito. But you could do blue, yellow, whatever you'd like. Hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.